In today's video we are going to do the full unboxing and review of the new Tudor Ranger which was released mid of 2022. So lean back, take a coffee and enjoy the video. The new Tudor Ranger was released to mark the 17th anniversary of the British North Greenland expedition. From 1952 to 1954, Tudor watches were used during this expedition to do timekeeping tasks. As documented by the members of the expedition, the watches kept precise time and didn't need manual winding. And with that, the field watch category for the Tudor portfolio was born. The reference of this watch is M79950, which is the Ranger on steel bracelet. The watch costs around 3,500 US dollars here in Dubai. There is also a NATO strap and a hybrid strap of rubber and leather version available. But overall I am sure the uh, bracelet version will be the one most in demand. On my wrist today, my Rolex Submariner Kermit. So the Tudor Ranger comes in a typical Tudor cardboard box with a white sleeve around it. Inside the cardboard box we find the watch box which is made of wood and synthetic leather at the top. Inside the watch box we find the watch of course, an additional compartment at the top to store straps for example. And underneath the watch we have the user manual, warranty manual and warranty card. Let's have a quick look inside all of them. This watch comes with a warranty of 5 years, even though the manual says 2 years. The user manual is a generic one, as this watch has only hour, minute and seconds hand, so I think we can also skip this. And the warranty card. And here is the watch guys. Still fully stickered as my buddy just collected it from the store and borrowed it to me to do the review and unboxing. Time to set the watch. As said, setting a simple time only free hands watch is always very easy and very convenient. You just unscrew the crown, give the watch a good wind. Pull out the crown into the time setting position and set the time. Afterwards screw the crown back in and you are done. The watch is ready to go. Let us remove all the stickers to see the watch in its full glory. The diameter of the watch is 39 mm, the thickness is 11.9 mm, the lug to lug length is 47 mm, the bracelet starts at 20 mm and tapers down to 15.6 mm. The weight of the watch is 146 grams. Overall very harmonic dimensions which are great to medium and big size wrists. I think for smaller wrists the watch will look a bit large due to the simple nature and large open space on the dial. The watch is fully made of stainless steel, has a complete brushed finishing and features a screw down case back and crown to give it 100 meters of water resistance. The bracelet comes in a three piece link design and the clasp features a micro adjustment quick release function.
Inside the watch we find the self-winding manufacturer caliber MT5402 which is cost certified so it has to run from minus 4 to plus 6 seconds a day but as per Tudor standards the movement will be calibrated to minus 2 to plus 4 seconds a day. So even more precise than it is already under the cost certification. The power reserve is 70 hours which is strong and makes it weak and proof. Especially considering the price point of this watch, the movement is definitely a highlight. The dial of the watch is made in a matte black finish with printed numerals and indices out of loom. The legibility is very good due to the strong contrast and simple text font. The logo and text is printed as well. The hour, minute and second hand feature loom as well. Time for a loom shot. Fantastic legibility at night and in dark conditions. And now it is time for the watch score. The watch dimensions are overall pretty good, but I think 38 or 37 mm would suit the watch a bit better. The dial is a bit simple and has lots of open space. The fully brushed case also looks plain and lets the watch appear quite large. Besides that, the case is well finished and comes with 100 meter of water resistance. The movement runs very precise and has a strong power reserve, but no complications besides the time. The bracelet might be the best Tudor has released yet, thanks to the micro adjustment and simple look so many people were asking for. For the daily and weekend usage this watch will be ok, but I could certainly think of better alternatives with more features like a date or more pop like a black bay. The watch will work well for sportive usage due to the great legibility and robust design. Image and history are very good and especially with this new release, Tudor did everything they could to make us aware of the significance of this piece in the North Greenland expedition. The brand is very good and value for money is also great for this watch. All of that together gives the watch a total score of 66 and with that it made my list but falls a bit short to alternatives especially from the diver segment. So I would personally probably rather take a Black Bay 58 with a little bit of uh, price premium compared to this Tudor Ranger. And with that we have it. Let me know what you think about the new Tudor Ranger in the comments below. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and see you in the next one. Bye bye.